Hi everyone, thank you for joining us in this Kids STEM Lab. I'm Teacher Martin. Today, I'm going to share with you how to make a crawling background. Last week, we have done with the animated running objects, characters, astronaut. You still remember? They are running in the space. Okay, this week, we have some children ask teacher how to do a scrolling background so that the animation will look a little bit nicer and everything is moving relatively. Okay, so what we have this project, so let me showcase to you what we will do for today so that at least we have some idea. So click on the green flag. So we are going to have a characters, a lady walking on the street. And then you see at the back, the background, the door is moving from the right to the left. Yeah, today we're going to learn how to make this scrolling background so that the things looks like very real. If let's say you just make the people walking and then the door uh, stay there still, yeah, it's a little bit not so nice. So we're going to learn how to make the scrolling background. Okay, without waiting long, let's start the project together. Um, let me close this project and open a new file. Okay, now I'm a new file already. First of all, we got to build the lady. We click on the first sprite and we're going to dump the cat. We're not going to use the cat. Go to the cat icon here and look for a sprite. We're going to take this every walking. Uh, click on every walking. Why we choose this sprite, right? Because under her costume, there is the walking animation. We no need to draw the animation for this lady. They already have all the walking posture for her. Okay, now let's start with the coding for this costume to make she walk like usual. Very simple. Click on the um, click on the event and bring out the when green flag clicks and then move your character to a location that you want her to stand over here and then go to the motions take up the go to X and Y next thing go to the loop scroll down and take up the go to front layer we have to make sure this lady is always in the front so that when she walk right you will see her in front in the display next we can start to let her walk already go to the control put in the forever loop and next go to the loop put in the put in the next costume next click on the control and drag the wait for one second to make the animations move equally instead of very fast okay let me show you what is this means we take out the one second when you green flat you see the character is moving very very fast nobody is going to walk in such a speed right so we need to slow her down give her some time for every step she moves walk every step she walk so now click on one and put zero point three now you green flat Mm, this is a speed like a normal person is walking. So now you have filled up your character already. Just like now we go to the backdrop. Then go to the backdrop here. The costume for the backdrop. We're going to draw something for this backdrop. Take the camera over here first. And then take the square. Drag a square like this. Then move like this. Take up the outline, put zero, and then fill this square box with a color. Maybe we put green color. Okay, now you have a green color. So now you see your lady is standing very near to the wall already. So click on the select button, click on the wall, you just move the wall up a little bit, make space for the 
walkway. Now you have a very nice wall. Next thing, click on the square again. Drag a rectangle for the walkway. This time, choose a grey color. Scroll the color and saturation duration to zero, and then move the brightness to grey. Uh, this is the walkway. Ta-da! You see, you have a walkway with a green color wall already. Very nice. After that, you have the backdrop. You got to make the door, the background that you want the background to scroll, right? How to make this working? Go to the cat head and then click on the brush. So now you have a new sprite. Maybe you put the name called background. You put the name called background. After that, go back to the stage here. Then you press Ctrl A. Then you will select the whole picture already. And then you click copy. Then you go to the background and you paste. Ah, now you have something like this. Next thing, you got to make a door for this picture. Click on the square. Just make a long rectangle like this. Make a door over here. And then we put brown color for the door. Then we make a square again. This is blue color for the mirror. Then a circle for the lock. The lock we can put black color. Okay, this is the door. After you have this background, you can start to do the coding for the scrolling background already. Go back to the coding of the background sprite. Now we start to do the coding. First of all, go to the green flat, the event. First of all, go to the event and take out the green flat clicks. And then go to the motions, pick the go to XY. Then you green flat. See? Now the door is there, but the lady is walking, but the door is not moving. So it is a um, no good example for the scrolling background. So we have to make the background scroll now. Then you just go to the control and scroll down. Take out the repeat until. when because when you are scrolling the background right just a little bit of explanation when you are scrolling on the background the door here the background is moving to the left hand side the people is moving to the right hand side so it is in a relative actions the door is going to the left the people seems like going to the right so that's why the door will go behind of the people so how far they got to go so we got to check until what point that this door is disappeared on the screen and then we we'll to make the door back over here so let's see what we can do huh? mm, first of all we put in the operator smaller because now the background is going to scroll the x to the left so it is a smaller smaller than minus let's put minus 240 minus 240 this location is here this is minus 240 minus 240 is here so we want to confirm whether when the door travel over minus 240 is it the door is disappeared from the screen or not so now we try and then because it's traveling on the x axis so we got to go to the motion scroll down and take out the x position and then because the door is moving to the left hand side so we have to go to motion again and scroll down take the change x uh, if let's say scrolling to the left right it is in a minus 5 so we put minus 5 now you create 
get uh, the door uh, too fast you need the door you see the door is too fast the people is walking very slow but the door travels too fast so we put minus two Great that uh, still a little bit of um, the speed is like not so related so we put minus one Green flag. Uh, correct now the speed is looks like I'm um, very usual so when the door travel right you see it travel under here when he reach to minus 240 right we still see the door so this is not the point that we want to set the door we want to put it further we put minus 260 this time and we play again so now the door will end further Ah, yo, we still have a little bit of the door there. Yeah, now we are putting minus 260. The door is stopped over here. This location. But it seems like there is still a little bit of the door. So we put minus 280. Then it will be no more door. The door is passed. Past the door has been in the back. Okay, now we have no more door. So this number is the correct one to scroll the door to behind. Then, if let's say they reach this one, right? We want to send the door back to the front. Put, go to the control circle and put in a if block here. Go to operator. put a smaller minus 280 then go to the motion what is the smaller is the x position smaller than minus 280 then we have to set the x set the x to plus 280. now you try again and you see door like scrolling from the right to the left so when the lady is moving so the door is scrolling so your animations will look a little bit like nicer everything is moving in a relative directions so um, I hope that you will enjoy this project yeah, since it is a, a very simple project but I hope that you will learn something to make your own scratch very nice Teach you see you again in next tutorial. Bye bye.